Okay, let's continue to evaluate some limits today. And um, we have this interesting expression here. Remember that we are supposed to know that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x is 1. That's a given. We, we sort of just need to, to know this. Trust me. And um, But how can we apply this knowledge to this question? Well, we have a... We, we, we can use a, um, an interesting method that will allow us to make this look a lot similar to that. So let's get started. That looked terrible, so I needed to erase it and fix it. So what if I go like this? I have sine 3x over x. And uh, if I had a 3x here, that would be basically perfect because then I could I could just substitute uh, perhaps a, a y in this and it would look a lot more similar to this equation here or th this expression so uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna multiply this guy by 3 over 3 and I can just do that because I'm not changing anything since that's a uh, that's just 1 and so that's gonna give us 3 sine 3x all over 3x. It can actually basically pull this 3 out of the limit because it's just a constant. Now I have this. And um, let's say now that I, I have 3x as y. And why is that going to help? Because then I can just replace y for the 3x's. And as x approaches 0, y is also going to approach 0. Hopefully that makes sense. And here we have sine of y over y. And this expression tells us that, well, since it's equivalent to that one, that the whole thing here is 1. So we have 3 times 1 equal to 3. That's it. Hopefully that made good sense. If not, you can check out similar videos right here. Once again, thanks for watching.